Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So yeah, Ethereum did drop below the low of 11.70 overnight. Um, yesterday I showed you here possible 1.2, one, 1.2 two, one, two setup, but told you that if we get below 11.70, the second 1.2 setup has to be taken out and we have to assume that the yellow wave two never finished, which is not too unlikely because the wave two in yellow was very shallow anyway, where we had it before, which was here. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements, you can see that this was really only the area between the 23.6 and the 38.2% FIB level, which is not a lot for a wave two. It's not, um, it's not invalid, but it's not um, likely, okay? Not too likely. In a bullish environment, yes, but it's always worth looking at other options then as well if you have such a shallow wave too. So in the end, what happened here, because we failed to push through resistance here, as you know, and we had this ascending wedge, which is the bearish pattern I talked about in the last videos, we broke down. I would nearly say we broke down as expected because I made you aware that this is a bearish pattern. It's most likely to break down, but then we need to see how far do we break down, yeah? That's what we never knew uh, or never know because it could have been that the one two setup holds. So an ascending wedge is not necessarily, you you know, it's not necessarily a bearish pattern. It just usually breaks to the downside, which doesn't mean it has to crash all the way down. It means, of course, it can break down, find support and start to rally. Now we lost 1170, which means that we probably come down a bit further. So I'm going to show you the uh, wave count based on the latest price information that we've got here. So we still look at this as a wave one where we peaked at around 1215. And I continue to think there is a chance from here short term for the price to move up. And because this was a five wave move to the upside and it all depends now on this retracement. If the retracement is going to be in three waves, then there is a really good chance to see prices of around 13 to 1400 in this week. And that could work out here in this A, B, C pattern, yeah? So if we now look at this C wave, which is a five wave move, how we can label that, I would label it as a wave one, this low here from the uh, 26th of November at 1200. Then we had a wave two to the upside, a wave three down. This was basically the overnight low, I would say. Here to 11.60. This is probably a wave four to the upside. And then there should be another wave down and it would fit very nice in terms of retesting this channel. If I zoom out, you can see this channel. Would be nice to see this retest done actually. Yeah, uh, it's very much possible. I think it would also work out in terms of the length, in terms of the proportions, it would work out quite well. Keep an eye on that channel, yeah? I think that will be important support. Um, in fact, it must not drop much lower anyway, because it should not to maintain the likelihood of a wave two here. Um, and to understand that it's not something more bearish, it would need to hold the $1,100 level. If we break below $1,100, I think we are going to head much lower We'll retest 1075 first, yes, but then we'll most likely go down to a thousand and maybe even lower. Okay. Um, how high can this wave four go? Again, we can also draw here the FIPS. And you can see we have really only reached the 1172 level or 73, which is the 23.6% FIP level. That's the minimum for a wave four. So theoretically, it could now start to go down. I'm going to give you a target area here where we can expect the wave four to turn around either here or at 1182 that's actually the ideal level so primarily i have to expect the price to get to there to 1182 because that's the ideal level for a fourth wave 38.2 percent fib level maximum it should do is the 50 percent at 1190 if we get above that level especially if it's impulsive in five waves I would have to assume that probably the low has been made here. This would become even clearer if we break above the wave one uh, low, which was here at $1,200. So getting above $1,200 would be a really good signal that the low is in. Already 
a move above 1190 would be a good indication for that. And then the key breakout point that we have is here the 1220, well, let's call it 1230 level, yeah, a bit lower than that. Um, but resistance actually starts at 1215, this red, red box. And if we get above that level, then we can get fairly quickly to the next resistance area, which is here 1270 to 1290. And if we get above that level, then we can look at the $1,400 range. But again, for all of that, ideally we are holding support when retesting the channel. And if we don't, we need to find support at $1,100. Okay, that's my update about ETH. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.